We're building a brand new thousand megawatt link between the UK and France. We form a joint venture with our partners, RTE. We have one team that really works together and it's been a huge success. I'm deputy director for the IFA2 project. It's the first time for RTE that we have a common team working together hand in hand. Every day is different. As an engineer, the offshore work is, is just fantastic. Everything is massive. Uh, you use the latest technology. I would just supervise the operation, observe and witness everything which would happen. When I came here, I, half the stuff that's on site, I did not see, I've never seen before. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to use it, but now I do. <laughs> As a person, I've, I think I've grown quite a bit as well. I've just a lot of experience that I didn't think I could get so soon. I'm very proud to work with this uh, HVDC and also I'm very proud to work with Hitachi ABB and also together with National Grid. Great behaviours, great collaboration, youth and experience working together to put 204 kilometres under the English Channel, the third busiest shipping lane in the world, and make it all happen on time and on budget with the French who have also been fantastic. The way we bring uh, UK closer to net zero with IFA2 is by importing clean energy from uh, other countries across the sea. But of course that aspiration of the zero net carbon emissions by 2050 is so important for our country and our, for our world and IFA2 is going to go a long way towards helping us achieve that by powering over a million homes with zero net carbon emissions. So net zero is really important because we have an opportunity in National Grid to decarbonise and contribute to making the planet and our country a better place. 